Hello everyone, this is Radoslav Pijicek speaking for the Masakari project. Uh, I'm going to show you some basic information about the Masakari project and also what has happened in the last release and what we are planning for the next release. For the starters, what does Masakari do? Masakari is delivering high availability for instances in an OpenStack cloud. It is implemented in terms of notifications and recovery workflows. Notifications are delivered by monitors, which may in turn rely on external sources of truth, like Pacemaker. So now for a little background about the Massacre project. It was founded during the Rocky release of OpenStack. It was previously developed by Entity and open sourced by them. We had 25 contributors in the Victoria cycle and we hope to have more during the Wallaby cycle. So why Massacre in the first place? Cloud workloads are not always cloud native and resilience for gas applications may need high availability solutions such as Massacre. This brings the OpenStack platform closer to solutions like Overt or Proxmox where you get the HA functionality almost out of the box. Similarly, if you don't control what is running in your cloud and you want to meet your SLAs, you might want to use Massacre to deliver high availability for your customers. Massacre is a simple project in terms of the OpenStack ecosystem. It has only two dependencies, Keystone for authentication and Nova for the virtual machine side. But it gets a little bit more convoluted when we look at the inside of Massacre. So from a very high level, uh, we can see core clients and monitors making up the Massacre project. In the core, we can see API, which is contacted by users and monitors equally. And API allows you to configure your segments and also to receive notifications, usually from the monitors, but users can also send notifications to it. And there's also the engine, which is the actual workhorse of Massacre. It acts upon the notifications, so it runs those recovery workflows I've been talking about. And the other part being clients. Uh, it's typical, like in the other OpenStack projects, it's centered around the OpenStack client, the OpenStack SDK, and also with the standalone interface, as well as a plugin for the dashboard, so Horizon. And the last but not least, monitors, uh, the interesting part uh, for the detection of the actual failures. So there are four kinds of monitors at the moment. The first kind is instance monitor. It's compatible with Livert. Uh, it has been tested with QMU and QMU plus KVM. Uh, it can probably work with other backends of Livert, but it hasn't been tested yet. Uh, there's also the host monitor, so it's integrated with Pacemaker and it detects host failures. There's also the process monitor, it monitors the Nova compute process. And the last one is the introspection of instances monitor. Uh, which is compatible only with Libvirt with QMU and KVM, optionally. Uh, and it does uh, look into the instances uh, to check whether the health status uh, is correct. We finished the Victoria cycle with only one feature, uh, which is a separation of host and instance level protection tagging. So basically, before that feature, uh, Massacre treated equally whether there was a host or an instance failure. Uh, you couldn't, as a user, differentiate between instances that are going to be protected against instance failure and those protected against host failure. And now it is possible. But for the Wallaby release, we've got a bunch of ideas about what to implement in Massacre. For summary of those, please visit the link at the top of this slide. And I will now talk through the three, I guess, most important 
uh, ones from the summary. Uh, so the first one being the evaluation of pacemaker alternatives, council ETCD. Or perhaps the alternative is not the best word in general because pacemaker, council and ETCD are very different things. But Masakari uses pacemaker for the detection of host failures. And pacemaker actually has its limitations. Uh, well, the most basic limitation is that uh, if you are running Corosync uh, and if you don't want to run pacemaker remote functionalities, then you are limited to only 16 nodes. And that's usually too few uh, for a typical cloud. Uh, with pacemaker, it can be work around it by using remotes. But the problem with remotes is that they work differently to the basic Corosync stack and they add additional complexity to the pacemaker cluster. So Masakari is looking forward to evaluating alternatives in the form of console and etcd, which are also able to be used as, keep, as host state uh, tracking solution. Another similar and also related topic to that is moving fencing and host status verification closer to Masakari. So for now, Masakari is kind of blind. It completely relies on Pacemaker to do its job correctly. And Masakari is unable to verify whether Pacemaker is configured correctly and whether it acted correctly in that particular case. And if that isn't true, if fencing didn't happen, there may, there may be various issues in real operations, like for example, if the original host is actually still running, connected to the storage array, you might get broken volumes. And what we want to do is we want to evaluate how Ironic could help Masakari here, uh, because basically we need functionalities related to controlling a bunch of bare metal hosts. And finally, for an unrelated feature, uh, restoring the original state, uh, so the state before Masakari took its actions. And for now, when Masakari runs its recovery workflows, then it's done. And it's not really possible for the user to revert what has happened. So all the evacuations that were done, were done, and that's it. But from time to time, uh, when you restore the hardware to its original glory, you might want to restore the instances that were running there previously without having to rely on uh, external projects like, for example, Watcher to rebalance your uh, cluster again. And Masakari needs your help. So join us on IRC on the OpenStack Dash Masakari channel at Freenode. Attend our every two weeks meeting on IRC. I try to not say be weekly because be weekly may mean twice a week. Propose and discuss features and enhancements, report and trash bugs on Launchpad, review changes, contribute a blueprint and or a spec, contribute code, fix a feature. We welcome any kind of help. Make our Patreon slash logo slash hero slash San Bernard happy. And thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer them.